Hey guys, this is Dami here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we do all things hair care, nursing, and we incorporate some vlogs into that. In today's video, we are really, really in for a treat. I'm gonna show you guys how I style Better Length's hair four different ways. If you guys do not know Better Length, I don't know where you are. All their information will be in the description box below. Please check it out. And I do have a promo code in case you guys wanna get this hair yourself. But that's not why we're here. I want to show you guys the four different ways that I style this hair. Everything is pretty much Pinterest inspired, meaning that I saw pictures and I was like, ooh, I wonder how I can recreate that with clip-ins and just put my own spin on it. So that's what I'm going to do. So have some fun. Stay tuned. Grab your popcorn. Comment down below which style was your favorite, what you guys liked the most. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> I think I said grab your popcorn when I really meant grab your notepad because we should really be taking notes because we should be recreating these styles ourselves. And now let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I'm starting with freshly blown out hair. Can we give it up for the blown out hair? Can I get some clapping hands in the comment section for this blown out hair? So to start, you'll need your Better Length Kinky Coarse Clip-Ins. This is the package that it comes in, and my oil of choice today is the Moroccan Argan Oil. Okay, so to start, I make a middle part, and then I section off my bangs. One on one side, and one on the other. Then, using the first one third of my head, I just make two parts, just directly to my ears, and then I make two pigtails. So as you can see, I have the bangs and I have the two pigtails. After that, I start working on the back. Like I did in my previous video, I start sectioning off my hair using the same method where I start with the weft with three clips, then I use the weft with four clips and five clips and so on and so forth. And then I just comb my hair in with the clips to really get that blend going. After that, I start working on the front. After taking out the ponytail, I use the wefts with two clips and just put it in the middle of that ponytail and then re-tie the ponytail. I use the same method to form the ponytail on the other side and then I make space buns. Simple space buns just by taking that ponytail and wrapping it around itself. After that I just fix my bangs, make sure it lays flat and that's pretty much it for the style. What do you guys think? It's cute, it's simple, it's fun. And to get a little bit fancy, I added some gold strings to it. Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know. Okay, so style number two, a fun ponytail, also Pinterest inspired. So what I do is I part my hair, and after parting my hair, I start with the ponytail. So in the back, again, we're gonna start with three wefts, but we're actually gonna do it in the direction that we want our hair to go. So instead of putting the clips down, we're actually gonna put the clips facing up because eventually we do want the hair to pack up. And as you guys can see, the blend is very nice. So after adding that clip, I start with the top of my hair, and I add a clip there, So at the top of where I wanted my ponytail to go, I added two clips and then I tied that up. Going back, I would have just added more clips into my hair because as you guys will see, I use another clip to wrap around my ponytail to really give it the volume that I want. So now that I've sectioned off my bangs, I'm basically combing my bangs into place, giving me that swooped bang look. Obviously, you guys can see that I'm not using any product, so it's not as swooped as it possibly could be, but it's as swooped as it's gonna be. Again, I wanted my ponytail to be that much bigger, so I added another track, and this is a track with five clips in it. 
So now the ponytail is getting to the size that I wanted, but I noticed that my hair is starting to stick out of the ponytail a little bit. So then I begin to twist my hair in with a little bit of the clips, so it just looks a little bit more natural and my hair isn't just poking out on its own. I use a little bit of the hair to wrap the top of the bun. So right away I realized that something was missing, the ends were looking frail and it was just not it. So I grabbed my wand curl, I separated the ponytail into four, I wanded those ends and you'll see very quickly how the style comes together and honestly comes back to life. Okay, what would you guys give this style out of 10? I think the style is so cute, it's elegant. It might be giving 1982, but you can dress it up or you can dress it down with ease. All right, time for style number three. We just wanna part our hair all the way back as straight as possible. Obviously, I'm struggling. I'm not in my bathroom like usual, so I'm just trying to do the best that I can possibly be. You guys will be better than I will. After parting my hair down the middle, I make two ponytails. Once I made the ponytails, I braid each ponytail down. And then I start with the better length hair. I start with the hair that has five clips in it and I just start clipping it to my hair. Just one side, one clip, the other side, the other clip, and so on and so forth. So then I take another weft that has four clips in it and I start doing the same thing. One side, one clip, one side, the other clip, all the way to the top of the ponytail. And I do the same thing on the other side. I start with the weft with five clips and then I grab the weft with four clips. Just wrapping it one side, another side, all the way to the top of the ponytail. Once that's done, I grab a little bit of the hair and I just wrap the base of the ponytail, the very top of the ponytail, just to get a cleaner look, more natural, seamless transition. By doing this, I'm also covering the clips at the top of the ponytail. Then I start braiding. I grab the hair and just start braiding it. It's a little bit weird because it's clipped onto a braid, but you guys will see what I'm doing. I braid one side, I braid the other side, then I start fluffing out each braid. So those little pieces of clips that you guys see get covered as I fluff out the hair. We finish off the style by wanding those ends, giving it a nice little curl, and that's all she wrote. What would you rate style number three in the comments? Okay, now for style number four. A little bit close to my middle part, I add the track with two wefts. One on one side, one on the other side. And then I just do a braid, a regular braid. I added this track just so that the braid can be a little bit thicker. And then I just braid the first one third of my hair as well. Once I have all of that track in the braid, I stop collecting more hair for the corn roll and I just braid the hair on its own. So once I've done that for one side, I do that for the other. Okay, so I puff that out a little bit too, just to make the braids look a little bit bigger. Cute, cute, cute. So now we're starting in the bag. Again, I wanna show you that I am going from the track with three clips, to four clips, to five clips, back again to four. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want you guys to mind how I part my hair. Obviously, I want you guys to do it nicer, but truly, it does not matter. It's all gonna be covered anyways. At this point, I'm pretty much done. That is it. I have those three clips in the back. You could use four depending on how thick your hair is. And I have the two clips in the front where the braids are. So to finish it off, I tie back both ends of those braids and it's kind of giving like a goddess look. Very nice, very classy. I'm absolutely in love. It's giving Shy Girl from the Prairie. The braids in the front are absolutely my favorite because they make the blend so seamless. It is perfect for when your blowout is starting to get old or starting to get a little bit thick in the roots. Okay, ATD fam, that is all for this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know which style is your fave. See you in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to come back this time next week for another video. All vibes, all love. Later, guys.